about knee drill is you don't dribble the basketball. It's dead. The whole time. Now, what happens in this drill, we start passing the ball too quick. You should pass the ball slow in this drill. It's all about guys understanding where they are. Okay? I have the ball head up, pinch out a little bit, pinch out a little bit. If I make a pass here, Taylor's going to hold it for a little bit. It's a dummy drill. John T's closing out, and what does uh, Landon yell? No, where should his head be? Right on the rim. Taylor's shot face, we're good. Right here, pass it back up to me. The minute the ball is passed away, you should drop it up, up towards the back. Okay? We're getting to cut his part in a minute. So I pass here. Low. Low right there. That hand up high. Back. Straight up. Right there. Landon. That hand now, up. Now, when we first do the drill, we're going to have no cuts. And it could be deep time on passing it. I'm going to say no cuts. So we're in no cuts here. We're working low. Working our proper hand. Low. Still playing to get there. Low. See the close out the hand. We're good. Now I'm going to say, when I say cut, now the cuts are wide open. Here's what happens on the cut. If I hold it and I call cuts, these guys are going to work on cutting. You cannot let them get into the basket. So let's say Taylor, I'm going to reach out. We're going to cut. Right there. John T, you've got to step up and get him out of there. You've got to drive him out of the paint. He can be cutting back door if he wants right there. Question. Yes, great point. Don't no, cut. It's a hard cut for this drill. Once you didn't work and I didn't pass it, go back on your side. I don't want the offense to cross it. Okay? Now here's the thing. If I'm uh, laying right here, and I'm guarding John Hale, and John Hale back cuts me, if I go like this and coach throws the bounce pass, that's not mine, that's John's, I'm close. Okay? But, and I should have made contact, but if I don't, I'm here, he throws it, he makes a bounce pass, and I guess this way, and now it's right in my hand every time. I'll never turn away from the ball. Likewise, John's over here, and I'm sitting right here, and I'm watching the ball, and John, and John cuts, and coach doesn't throw it to him, and he goes behind me, I should hit him, and I want to push him out, get him back out of that like that. So he drills. He goes from here, and he drives him out right there, and he drives him. Those guys keep driving out that way. It looks like a feet. That's like a ball. Okay? If John cuts, we'll make this rule. If uh, Coach has the ball on top, you're allowed to cut anywhere from the free throw line and below. So if I'm guarding and John cuts here, and Coach has the ball, it's right there. I hit him. He's going to back up. If Caleb has the ball, no Caleb the ball, I'm turning and sprinting low. So I'm right here. John's rule is he can cut when Caleb has the ball, but it has to be below this volleyball line right here. Because what I don't want to happen is who's more important to guard now, Caleb or John? Caleb. So if John cuts too high and I leave, now it's just a wide open thing for that. Okay? There's one keep someone there five on five. That's my point. So this drill, hey, we have the ball. You can cut, but you got to do it below this line so I can just go, bam, right here, and I'm still in low position. Make sense? He throws back up the coach. I can cut anywhere up in here. No free cuts. 